back with us live in studio on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Thank you very much, Mr. Nick Hammond. We're joined on the couch right now by comedy powerhouse, Mr. Martin Davis, who looks equally worried like the rest of us about the American election. But that's not what we're here to talk Please, about right, no, no. right now. A man who's known, of course, for his crazy, highly energetic and slightly manic tune on stage. Uh, he's a comedian who makes, or who, who's very well known uh, as performing in South Africa and calling South Africa his home as he does uh, Britain. And it's great to have him here because he'll be performing at the Cape Town Comedy Club from today until Sunday the 13th of November. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure, Mark. It's an Pleasure. early wake-up call. Are you it is very up? early for me, yes. <laughs> what, what, I, I what? normally look a lot better than this. <laughs> I'd like to point that out. What time do you usually wake up in the mornings to get the day started? Uh, it, Ten. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. We're nearly there. But then I, no, but I go to bed late, so I'm not that. You know, it's not Hard like work. I'm lazy. Hard worker. Um, I want to talk first about the fact that your your act on stage as, as a comedian is mm. a bit different to what others do in that you use a lot of audience interaction. Yeah. I'm told. I don't really have an act. Wow. I, I literally talk to it's you know, hello, who are you? And then and then we're off. I did a show in Holland once, and he said to me, "What are you going to do?" I said, "Well." I do this TV show and I say, well, well, I do this bit, I say hello when I come on <laughs> and we do some other stuff and then I'll say goodbye when I leave. <laughs> and the guy really thought, was looking at me going, no, I need something. I said, fella, yeah. really? And then when I did the show afterwards, he went, OK. I understand. That's, that's what you meant. You, you say hello and you leave, but the bits in between you don't really know. And no. where, where did this style of, of comedy uh, develop w with you? Where did it start for you? Um, a little bit of silly to, 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 to stick to script, I think. Yeah. I can't... Like, I'll be halfway through something that I'm going to do and I'll get distracted and, and, and my mind will go off <laughs> something. But the amount of times I've done gigs when people say, can you finish that joke? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bulldog joke. Can We're you finish waiting for the, bulldog, the punchline at the end. The bulldog joke. Yeah. Hey, what? Oh, Which yes. <laughs> so, in, in that audience interaction, of course, there's always unpredictability and the chance that it I get, go. well, a friend of mine who runs a club, my very good friend Noel Faulkner, who runs the Comedy Cafe in London, yeah. says to me, I have a cheekiness about me that I can say the most ridiculous things and get away with it, and people don't take offence. Re oh, my word. Yeah. Is, is it just but, the way that you deliver it, do you think? Would you like an example? I would love an example. Go uh, ahead, give it I to me. I was doing a gig once. There was, a, there was four beautiful <laughs> girls, a very plain girl who, who had a hen party thing, mm -hmm. and this old lady. So I said to the old lady, who are you? She said, I'm the mother. And I went, what, of all of them? <laughs> and she went, yeah. And I looked at the plain one, I went, and I looked at the mother and I went, I, I bet you thought you'd never get rid of her. <laughs> the place <laughs> went oh, my word. dead. Oh, the my mother word. looked at her daughter, looked at me, burst out laughing. The whole place erupted. And then I said to the girl, listen, so someone's met you, they love you, you're getting married, good for you, kid. Because it must have been hell growing up with those four. Oh, my word. Wow. Right? So, you, as long as you don't come from a bad place... Yeah, yeah, you OK. ..you can say the most ridiculous... ..the most ridiculous but things has to it, people. has it ever oh, ended every badly. now and then. Oh, yeah? But every now and then, but for reasons you don't know. Yeah. Some guy burst into a dressing room once. You racist, you racist. Um, you're going on about... What was it? Germ... Germans. You don't like Germans. <laughs> and I went, what are you talking about? I said... You don't like shepherds, German shepherds. I went, <laughs> and I went, and I went, the dog. Oh my word! Get the dog, out not of here! German are shepherds, <laughs> German shepherds, Alsatians. <laughs> but listen, so you... <laughs> you know, people can get upset. Like a, a Japanese woman, I said, "What's your name?" Yoko. And all I said was, "Oh no." Oh. And she and she got up and stormed out. And I went, "Surely someone said that. Surely yeah, someone said not that the for first you." Person to say that. Surely that's not. I'm not oh, doing this or being goodness. anything. Oh, wow. You know. but listen, uh, thank you for joining us this morning. We really That's do right. appreciate it. And we, hope, we want people to come out and support your show. Yep. That starts off tonight. Tonight. And it goes on until Sunday, the 13th of November yep. at the Cape Town Comedy Club. And people can expect just a whole lot of fun right now. Yeah. Tonight. Fantastic. Thank you so much. His name is Martin Davis. Do check him out also online on social media at Martin Davis. But there's still lots more to come on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.